Now, let's continue. You're welcome to today's class, first order differential equation. In this video, we'll be making use of the, this method by separating the variables. Okay? Now, if you look at this problem, the y dx is equal to, you can see that there is a mixing of variables here. We have how many variables that are present here? We have two variables. The variables of x and the variables of y here. So we need to separate these variables, bringing x to where there is dx and y in one side, bringing it to where there is the y. And how do you go about this? Let's start solving. Solution. We have the y over the x equals to. Now, what is common here also common here. You see that y square is common in both. So I'll bring y square out, open bracket. If I bring y square out here, I'll be left with 1. 1 plus, if I bring y square out here, I'll be left with what? X. Okay? Over. Now, what is common here? What is common here? You will see that x square is common in both. So I'll bring out x squared, x squared. If I bring out x squared here, I'll be left with what? I'll be left with y here. Minus. If I bring x squared out here, I'll be left with what? I'll be left with 1. I hope we are following. That is very good. Okay? Now, next thing to do is um, let's, let's cross multiply first. Let's cross multiply. I will use this one to multiply this. I will use this to multiply this. Okay? Here I have, if I use this one to multiply this, it will give me x squared to bracket y minus 1 dy equals to y squared. If I use this to multiply this, I will have y squared to bracket 1 plus x, close the bracket, dx. And as we have said earlier, that we will bring y, all variable of y to where there is the y, and all variable of x to where there is the x. But if, it's, if you look at this carefully, you see that the variable of y is still part of this side, and the variable of x is still part of this. So we need to eliminate it. Okay, let's start from this part. Let's start from this. To eliminate, to eliminate uh, this x squared, yeah, I will need to divide both sides by x squared. So I will divide both sides by x squared. I will divide both sides by what? x squared. So if I divide both sides by x squared, this x squared will cancel this x squared. I will be left with y minus 1 all into dy equals to what? y squared into bracket 1 plus x dx all over x squared. I need to eliminate this y because I don't want y to be part of this place. We are separating the variables, bringing all y in one in one side and x in one side. I will also divide both sides by what? By, by y squared here. I will divide both sides by y squared. So this one will cancel this. At my left, I will be left with what? y minus 1, the y over y squared. And at the right, I will have what? 1 plus x all over x squared. Everything respect to the x. Now, if you look at this, you see that we have separated successfully the variable of y to where there's y here and the variable of x to where there's x here. So let's continue. We have... Now, do you know that I, don't, I, can, I, can, um, I can write this as y over y square minus 1 over y square. This is still the same thing as this. Everything towards the y. And here I can also rewrite this as 1 over x square plus x over x square. Everything towards the x. I hope you are following. So y here 1, y here to just cancel this. Here I will be left with what? 1 over y minus 1 over y square. Okay? Everything into dy 
equals to 1 over x square plus xl1 xl xl is occurring in two places here so i will be left with 1 over x here all into the x okay now i can further simplify this as 1 over y minus y raised to the power of minus 2 this is the same thing as this because in indices if you could remember in indices that if you have y raised to the power of minus 2 is the same thing as this 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 minus will change to 1 over y raised to the power of 2 so it's still the same it's still the same okay everything into the y equals to here i can also represent this to be what x raised to the power of minus 2 plus 1 over x everything to the what into the x okay now i will use this dy to open the bracket and we have 1 over y dy minus y raised to the power of minus 2 dy equals to x raised to the power of minus 2 x raised to the power of minus 2 dx plus 1 over x dx okay now what what should I, I i will need i will need to integrate all of them i will need to integrate all of them so if i should integrate all of them if i should integrate this integrate this integrate this integrate this if i integrate one over y it is sure that whenever you integrate one over y or one over x if you integrate one over x it will give you lin x so if you integrate one over y it will give you what lin y so this will give me lin y okay minus now here we have y raised to the power of minus 2 right in integration you add 1 to the power when you add 1 to the power you then divide by everything you have here for example if i'm to integrate y raised to the power of minus 2 right so if i should add 1 to the power plus 1 i would divide by everything here that is minus 2 plus 1, right? So, I will have what? y raised to the power of what? Minus 2 plus 1 will give me minus 1. And here I will be left with what? Minus 1. All over minus 1. And I can also rewrite this one to be... I can bring this minus out here. I can decide to bring this minus out here. So, if I bring this... You know, if I integrate this now, it will give me this, right? So, if I bring this minus out here, it will, change, it will, it will multiply with this minus to give me what? Plus, so I'll be left with y raised to the power of what? Minus 1. No, no need of writing the y because I've, I've already integrated this part. Equals to, okay? So what will this give me? If I should integrate this, I will use the power here. I will add 1 to the power. That is, x raised to the power of 2. x raised to the power of minus 2. I will then add power to the, to the, I will add 1 to the power y integrate it plus 1, divide by everything that is here, that is minus 2 plus 1. So this gives me x raised to the power of minus 2 plus 1 will give me minus 1 over minus 1, right? So this minus, this, you know, x raised to the power of 1 is something as 1, x, right? So I will use this minus to multiply this here. Yeah? If I use the minus, if I use this minus to multiply this, whatever that is here, that is, if I, you know, this one has no sign actually, right? This one has no sign. So I will just, I will just, um, Put the minus one here in front of it, which will be minus x raised to the power of us, raised to the power of minus one. No need of writing the x plus. If I integrate one over x, it will give me lean x, so it will be lean x, right? Okay, I can further write this as lean y plus y raised to the power of minus one equals to y integrating. Please include your constant, include your constant. So I can decide to bring this one here and bring this one here. So we have lean x minus x raised to the power minus 1 plus c. That is our constant. Okay? Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is our, that is our final answer. So stay tuned for more tutorial videos.